On behalf of the National Park Service, I want to welcome you to the Missouri National Recreational River. My name is Chris Wilkinson. I am the Chief of Interpretation and Education at the park. Today, I am standing at the Myron Grove boat ramp about 15 miles downriver from Yankton, South Dakota, and less than half a mile upriver from Goat Island, which is the largest island that still exists along the Middle Missouri River. 143 years ago today, on October 27, 1870, on the south side of Goat Island, the North Alabama steamboat sank. The North Alabama was a 220-ton wooden packet steamboat. It was headed from Sioux City up to the Yellowstone country, where it was delivering, among other supplies, flour and whiskey to miners in the Rocky Mountains of Montana. The steamboat in the early evening of October 27th was trying to make its way from the South Dakota shoreline over to the Nebraska shoreline to pick up some more wood for the voyage. When about 200 yards from the Nebraska shoreline at about 7 p.m., Captain Jim McCarrick suddenly felt a jolt. They had hit a snag. A snag is basically a large cottonwood stump just below the water line. This cottonwood stump knocked a hole in the bottom of the boat, which was about two feet wide and eight feet long. Soon the North Alabama sank, along with cargo valued at over $12,000. In today's terms, that would have been over $300,000. And consider there was no insurance on those supplies and cargo. Well, the North Alabama rose again in 1906 during low water on the mighty Missouri. And then in 2004, just nine years ago, during drought conditions along this stretch of the National Recreational River, the North Alabama's 170-foot-long hole reappeared. Who knows when the North Alabama will appear again? It has since been covered by sand and sediment quite a bit since the historic flood of 2011. But the North Alabama is not the only steamboat wreck which lies beneath the waters of this national park. There are 15 other known steamboat wrecks, many of which also succumbed to snags or the elements on the mighty Missouri River. So we will see in the future what lies beneath the rolling waters of this wild and scenic waterway.